Hi there, my name is Victoria Lockhead and I'm a trained personal stylist and I am also a massive fan of treasure hunting in charity shops and jumble sales and vintage shops and I teach my clients to do the same. So today I thought I would show you my favourite five which are the five treasures that I found recently that I absolutely love. So my first thing I want to show you is a pair of shoes. <coughs> so where we live in Newbury, uh, we're really lucky. We have a place called the Clothing Warehouse, which is the only clothes recycling centre in the country, I believe, that's open to the public and it's absolutely massive. So when I'm working with my clients, I quite often take them there because I know there's lots of choice. Um, but I also go shopping there for myself and I was in there um, not too long ago and I saw these shoes um, they're a lovely colour, they're a perfect colour for me, a sort of olivey green and they're suede so they look like they were actually quite soft and they're really unusual um, so that's what drew me to them and then I saw that the label said Ferragamo which I know is a really good quality make and when I turned the shoes over I've worn them since but they had the original price tag on um, and they were my size and they fit me and whenever I wear these shoes I feel fantastic in them because they're so unusual I don't think I've ever seen another pair like it um, and they cost me five pounds which I think is incredible <laughs> to pay five pounds I would pay five pounds for a a coffee with a friend in Costas, so I got a pair of Ferragamos for the same price. So I love those shoes, they're a real good find. Um, the second thing I want to show you is my Chinese silk jacket, so let me grab that. So I quite often meet up with my sister, and we love going for lunch and charity shopping together. We often meet in Devizes uh, because it's about halfway. And the last time we went, I went to the Dorothy House charity shop, or it might have been the Sue Rider. It was Sue Rider or Dorothy House, it was a really nice charity shop. And I found this Chinese silk jacket, and the first thing I noticed about it was its condition. It was like new. Sometimes with um, this kind of embroidered silk, it can get a bit snaggy but this one was just absolutely perfect. The second thing I then noticed was that it was completely reversible, so you could wear it with the gold side or the blue side. Um, tried it on, it was a great fit, and it cost 7 99 The thing I really like about it is it just smartens up a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, so if you're going out in the evening, you don't wanna to go too mad, too dressy, it's, it's a really good smart casual thing to have in the wardrobe. Um, I can just put a little top underneath and put it with my jeans and I'm good to go. So that was $7.99 really well spent. I absolutely love it. And when I put it on, it always reminds me of when I was shopping with my sister. So uh, yeah, I love that one. The next thing I want to show you is a day dress. So let me go and grab that. Okay, um, another favourite shop shopping destination of mine is a town called Wantage. If you've not been there, it's quite small, but there are loads of charity shops crammed into a small area. And I try and go once a year with a couple of friends, um, and we just make a day of it. And I found this dress in the Red Cross shop in Wantage. I love it because it fits lots of my rules. So it's in really warm colours, which is something that I need to wear. Um, the print is quite big but that's right for me as well and I like the fact that the um, pattern forms stripes that go down the body which is quite slimming and it's got a sort of, I don't know how well you can see but a sort of handkerchief um, hemline but it's really lightweight and it's silk so uh, it's great for layering and I put it over trousers and tops um, or leggings, it's Fenrite Manson and it's really distinctive. I feel really nice when I wear it and I feel it, like it's quite a unique thing. Um, and that was 9 99 so that's a real wardrobe favourite of mine. 
it goes with nearly everything else I've got in my wardrobe as well. It goes with lots of different colours. So that was a good buy. Um, the next thing I want to show you is a coat. This coat was um, an eBay find for me. So I was going to my daughter's Holy Communion and I didn't know what to wear. And I found this on eBay. I just love the print. I've got a skirt and a very similar print. It's from Q. And it's got a sort of texture in the coat, which just makes it feel very, very soft, which is another thing that, that I need in my clothes. And it's a duster style coat. So it's very casual shape, but uh, the, the fact that it's a print coat, I think makes it a bit more, a bit smarter, a bit more formal. Um, so it was great to wear my, to my daughter's Holy Communion. I've worn it to a few weddings. And sometimes during the day, I'll just put it over something that's really casual. I absolutely love it. It was uh, 35 pounds, which is quite a bit compared to the other things I've shown you. But if I was buying a new coat on the high street, I would pay an awful lot more. So 35 pounds for the quality of this actually isn't bad. And I do really, really love it. So that's another favorite. Uh, the last thing I want to show you today is an evening dress. <laughs> this dress is so heavy. It, oh, it's fallen off the hanger, it's that heavy. It is literally covered in beads, head to toe, front and back, um, beautifully, beautifully made. So this dress I bought for my 40th birthday, which was a couple of years ago. And uh, I had a party and the theme for the party was in the 1920s. So I was searching and searching for something that I could wear. And I found this in the clothing warehouse. And it's a Frank Usher dress. So I've added in, I've added in a panel which just kind of sits on the hips to make it look drop waisted and also to make it a bit longer because it wasn't quite long enough. Uh, but the back is fantastic. So the back just kind of fans out, but it's got a really low back. It's just lovely and I felt great when I wore it. Um, tired because it's so heavy. Um, but this cost me £20, so it was a complete bargain for the amount of work that's gone into uh, to making this. Uh, £20 is amazing. So I really, really hope I get the chance to wear it again. Um, but even if I don't, I think I will just keep it because I love it and the memory of my 40th party is, uh, is a really good one. So I might just put it on and wear it around Sainsbury's or something like that. So those are my favourite vibes at the moment. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've got some favourites in your wardrobe too. If you've not been charity shopping before, give it a go. You can see what bargains can be found um, and maybe there'll be some new favourites for your wardrobe out there. So for now, goodbye and enjoy your treasure hunting. See you next time.